Now is, is, is an hour. Okay? There, Think about there was a K. <laughs> there was a comment in the chat. Arabs committed. Arabs committed. 9/11, right? They they didn't commit 9/11 for the name of God. They they did it for the name of Allah. You need to understand this. This is a, a religion. No, 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 no. They did not do it for the name of Allah. They did it because the Al Qaeda group was having problem with the United States government. What kind of okay. problem? Did, did United did the United kind States uh, steal did, steal their lands? Did Al Qaeda fight with and for in Kuwait for the United States? Were they side by side? Were they? I don't know. Them? I don't know. Were they buddy? Yes, they were. Yes, okay. they were. Okay. So whatever so, their problems between that group and the United States caused this Al Qaeda group to do what they did to the United States. That's not every Arab's problem. Let's be accountable for their actions, and neither shall shall a uh, Muslim, because there was also forty-seven Muslims sitting in those towers. Yeah, but, but and there the were several leader, Arabs who died also. The leader, the leader of Al Qaeda, uh, rest in peace, Bin <laughs> Laden, uh, was saying in his videos that they did it for the name of Allah. The leader that decided to do it, say it on camera. We did it they can, in the name of Allah. They can say it. They can say we in the so, name of Allah. So they, they, they are telling you as they, they use the they, religion they are, to do something that was terrible. This is wait, you know this, Dominga, is, this Dominga, is another Dominga, thing. They are, they are telling you using religion as an excuse to kill a bunch of people. I, so I'm they are you in the face. Personally, I, I agree you with you, Dominic. Can you not? What? You have two people. I agree with uh, Dominga. You have too many people in this world using the, the, their religion to do something instead of being accountable for themselves because that's they want to commit that terrible crime. But uh, Why you uh, if one listens to, if you listen to like uh, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and uh, also Osama Bin Laden, they both uh, give a sort of like uh, the same motivation for the attacks. And they talk about um, American presence in the Arab world, like uh, Saudi Arabia, for example. And also, <clears throat> they talk about uh, Israel's invasion of, of Lebanon there in '82 and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, it's not a good reason to attack uh, USA on 9/11, of course. But that's what they say. No, absolutely not. I didn't but say. I didn't is, say that it's a good reason. I said. Of course. They are using the, the, in every Friday uh, praying in the mosque. They are saying that Allah wants them to, uh, and, uh, and, and you can go on YouTube and see it a lot, a lot, a lot of sheikhs, a lot of uh, imams telling the prayers that the Allah want him, want them to, to, to kill the young Muslim. It's it's a it's a big uh, it's a big duty of a Muslim to. to Kill the non-Muslim, especially Jews. Uh, I, don't, I, didn't, I don't know, Dominga, if you know it, but uh, uh, Egypt wasn't a Muslim country. Egypt was a Christian country. And uh, ask your husband if he's from Egypt. And uh, also Lebanon wasn't a Muslim. Does country. it matter? In these days, it's, it's, what people are going to have matter. to understand? It's do, it's do matter. What like like Israel didn't what didn't was a uh, Muslim country. It is the same. It's the same thing. When when people when people do something uh, uh, and using the religion for a reason to do it and and do the 9/11 and, and do all these wars, it's concerning. And, and you can and you can uh, yeah. be blind to this. You can be blind to this. If they are telling you in the face, you can you can say no. They don't mean it. They don't mean it. If it's for the name of Allah. You are, you are being blind. You, be, you, are, you are covering. You are, you are covering. You are covering your, your your eyes and you are covering your ears. And this is very dangerous. I think. You need, no, you need I have to them. Confirm. I have them very much open. I have them very much open. 
Are you closing your eyes to the fact that in these days that religion is used as a war tactic to divide people and have people kill, kill each other? Can you deny that? Yeah. Because it is. No. If you deny that, if you deny that, but I think that no, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not these radical anything. groups that are using the religion that they're, they're, do you know you live in Israel, okay? You live in Israel. You live right next door to a bunch of Muslim countries. Tell me that in these Muslim countries, that every Muslim in those countries agree with what a radical Muslim group or fanatic will say. We have them all over. We have them in the U.S. Not, not at all. Not at all. But. But, uh, so I'll ago, tell you what. Let me let me put it. Let me give you an example. The U.S. I, has I, the I KKK. Want, I want to give you. The USA has the KKK. If they go out and they kill a black man, am I supposed to go to every white person in the United States and say it's your fault because they did this? No, but the U.S. society, the white people in the U.S. society, are rejecting the KKK. The government is rejecting the KKK and educate. So if this is happening in the U, it's not okay. It's not okay. But Mashi, other, if this is okay the and they're rejecting country, these bad actions, then then it should be okay for Muslims in a Muslim country to reject the radical Muslims who are conducting yeah. radical actions. Yeah. This is this is this is exactly the point. They are not doing it. Instead, what we see yes, in Egypt, they are. the Muslim Brotherhood. Yes, they, they are. Muslim, the You're Muslim, seeing clashes right not. now in Egypt because they of this. Are not. They are. They are. The, they the are. Minority. My husband is in Alexandria, no. Egypt. No. Can I say something? Listen, if, if in, in Gaza they're electing the terror organization Hamas, in Egypt they're electing the brother, uh, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood that are the father of the Hamas, uh, what I don't think the radical Islam is so uh, minority in those countries anymore. And, and I say, no. in I say can I say something? You're yes, in so. Israel, right next. You're in Israel, right next door, right, right just this right is, over Gaza, right, 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 right next door to Egypt. And you had not heard about the people who are clashing out in front of the Muslim Brotherhood against the Muslim Brotherhood. Of course, of course. You have I'm not heard about, about this. Of course, I do. So. That is rejecting radicalism, is it not? No, no, this is a minority that soon will... No, will it's not a minority. It's not it's a minority. It's a minority, and, and did you hear, and did you hear in, in those uh, clashing, a lot of people are dying by the Egyptian uh, police and army? Oh my God. Uh, can, I, can I come in here? Go ahead, so, Jimmy, I'm done. Um, because... I think that uh, <clears throat> there's uh, two things that I want to say. First, uh, that Egypt has, uh, I think they are pretty uh, seriously tired of all the uh, dictators and the oppression that they have had there. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that the people there don't want the oppression that they see right now. So I think that's uh, good to make clear. I'm pretty certain of that. But the other thing I want to point out is that I think that uh, <clears throat> the people that support Al-Qaeda may do so because they are against what see as uh, American atrocities or bad action in the Arab world. So they can sympathize with uh, Al-Qaeda for those reasons. They don't necessarily have to be like... Uh, extremist all the time, but they can be, of course. Uh, Al-Qaeda should be protested, and they are protested in, for example, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia fight, uh, um, fight uh, Al-Qaeda in the, in the Arabian Peninsula. It's a, it's a special group of Al-Qaeda, like a subgroup of, of Al-Qaeda. You also have Al-Qaeda in the Maghreb. They're in Morocco and Algeria and stuff. So, I think that... Uh, they have uh, governments in the Arab world that are protesting these groups and are actively fighting them. But they also have some supporters in different places. But it's not like everyone supports them, I think. I think it's more complicated with Hamas and, and Fatah. And so.
Well, the thing is, is that in these countries also, Jimmy, if you think about it, the people are oppressed in their own country. Say for Egypt, example. Okay? Yeah. And their yeah. own, they're fighting their own government because their own government is oppressing them. Okay. Then you get a yep. group that comes in, like Muslim Brotherhood or Al Qaeda or something like that, and they, you know, pay for their food, give them kind of assistance because there is no, you know, food pantries and stuff like this where they can just go get food. So, so you have you know, groups you know. like this. Excuse me, but can you let me speak? There yeah, are sure. groups Sorry. like this that will things. that will. There are groups like this that will go in and will help the people who are suffering, okay? And when they do that, then they're, you know, it, it's just like, it's just like if I ask you for, to borrow me a hundred dollars because my lights is going off. I'm obligated to you until I pay you that hundred dollars back, right? This is how they do the people. There is a lot yep. of corruption there, a lot of corruption from high up all the way down low. The people have to scrip and scrape and, and kneel and deal just to live per day. I mean, the government owns everything, is in control of everything down right down to the bread they eat. So if you get groups sure. like this that come in and they make it easier for these people who are poor, and the government is not doing it, then, you know, it's easy for these people to fall into the hands of these radicals. What of course. You mean uh, us, right? I'm talking about Al Qaeda and the Muslim ah, okay. radical thinking kind of stuff. So there are people in Egypt who will not do this, and they do not like them, and they do not want them whatsoever. Yeah. And they do I mean each other to get them out of it. Yeah, I think uh, what they are. What they are protesting is that they feel that, uh, like you said before, Domingo, that uh, the Muslim, Muslim Brotherhood, that they hijacked uh, the revolution. Because uh, the Muslim Brotherhood and, uh, or rather, the, the military had like the same aim as the protesters. They wanted to get rid of uh, Mubarak that was there before. But uh, the military didn't want... Uh, to have a to have a free Egypt, they wanted to control the country, and they do so now in concert with uh, Morsi. And the Morsi, he right. when he got power, he took the he, he took control over the country, and that has made it into a dictatorship right now. So I think they they need to get rid of Morsi. There. Yeah. Right, and, and through the revolution also, you have to understand that some of these radical groups have come into Egypt. After bin Laden is, is gone, the number two of Al-Qaeda is Egyptian. His brother lives in Cairo, Egypt. Yeah, I know. His brother was prisoned. After yeah. Morsi became president, he let him out of jail. He let him out of prison. But, but now he's running really? the street. created on Egypt. Yes, I know. I'm talking about yeah. Al-Qaeda. But I don't understand how... Yes, so the brother of the now head so leader of Al-Qaeda lives in Cairo. So the Egyptian yeah, people uh, are not going to end up having to fight this radicalism. Plus... Yeah, but... Uh, but... Al-Qaeda didn't take the, the rule of Egypt. The brother Muslim took the, the, the rule over there. And uh, I don't understand how they hijacked the revolution. There, there are two... They, there are two... They have been... Wait, wait, I mean, yeah. they have been, uh, they have elected democratic way in Egypt, and you are saying yes. this because of the status of the, the condition that they are living over there in poverty, in hunger, in uh, lack of, uh, lack of uh, education, they are going to the extreme way, going to choosing the extreme uh, movements like uh, al Qaeda and stuff. So what about the uh, Muslim in Europe that are uh, living a very good uh, lifestyle and have a very good education and they are still choosing to support this group? And I see Jimmy is from Sweden. I think uh, Sweden has uh, a very big uh, effect of the uh, Muslim immigration that support this, this group. 
it's yeah, but, uh, but but no. Uh, I mean, they elected uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, but uh, they they did so expecting that it would be a democracy. Still, the the way he hijacked uh, the the country or the election, so to speak, was by uh, making decisions that made people in the justice system uh, defect from their jobs. And he also made um, polit politicians that uh, didn't agree with him to to jump from from controlling the country. They they quit their jobs because they saw that he was uh, trying to make it into a dictatorship. And he has done other things that have shown that he he after he became elected he wanted to make it a dictatorship. So that's the way he has uh, uh, hijacked the election. So he yeah, betrayed so. those people that elected him. Yeah, but the Muslim Brotherhood, it's not a new, uh, new movement. Uh, the agenda yeah, of course. of the Muslim I know. Brotherhood is, is well known in Egypt. They, they knew it. Yeah, I know that. They were choosing him. Uh, by the way, if you look uh, at all the sure. Arab Spring, if you look in, in the all Arab Spring, in all the countries that was a revolution, you will see uh, in all those countries, the extremist party won the election after the revolution in all of those countries. As far as I've heard, it didn't happen in in Lebanon, in, in Libya, I mean, I think it was the only exception. But otherwise, I think so. True. In Nigeria, also. okay, you can, you can check it. You'll see. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I want it to be free and democratic, of course. Well, the thing is, is that you can't, you cannot blame, I mean, even if, it, if it's messing up with the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, you cannot blame the people. They have never been able to vote. And there was many of them that would not vote because they didn't want either one. They didn't want the old sure. Mubarak regime and they did not want uh, the Muslim Brotherhood voting at all. This is just the first vote in how many years? Yeah. After having a 30-year rule of the same person. So, you know, you can't blame and say, you know, because they got the chance to, to have a democratic vote that was well, their own fault. It's not their own fault. You know, it, this is the very first one in many, many, many years. You have old 80-year-old people who never voted before, who voted just because they got to vote, you know? So you cannot blame it and say, well, they voted them in there. Well, yeah, they had no choice. They had, you know, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, who was uh, Morsi from the Muslim brother Brotherhood, who supposedly got out of the Muslim Brotherhood afterwards. But then in the parliament, you also have Muslim Brotherhood, and you also have uh, what they call Saif Muslims, I think, uh, if I'm saying it correctly. But they're called the North Party, which are the the more radical. You know what I'm saying? They're the more have the more radical and want the more radical Islamic laws. And even the Egyptian people are saying, yeah. we don't want these laws. We don't want these laws. So it's gonna be a long haul for for the Egyptians. Uh, have you have you seen anything? Can I want to talk, maybe? No? No, I just said that basically we have uh, in Egypt a parliament that uh, contains uh, extremists and more, even more extremists. There you go. And that's why the Egyptian people are not agreeing to constitution that is being rid of. That's why you've seen most of the crashes you see today. Because they're telling them, you know, you're trying to override an Islamic rule and is Islamic laws that just go for Islamic people and even Muslims are going against this, you know, so they're, they're not supporting this, they're going against it. And they're still fighting uh, for their revolution and their democracy. 
What can you expect uh, from a party that are so extremist? If you choose it, of course they're going to, to, uh, to want to, to make the extreme law in, in the country. So, in saying we can't blame the people, but choose those people, the extremists. So, I, I don't know, you, you think that the people of Egypt are very, uh, very stupid or something? Even the, uh, even the voting is corrupt there. I was there when the voting happened. And my husband and my brother-in-law, as soon as they knew, as soon as they went to go vote, was offered to be paid to vote for the Muslim Brotherhood. So there's corruption in, still in their stuff. I witnessed this myself, my husband and my family. There. So there's still corruption there. These people have a lot to, to deal with. So can I, uh, can I, you know, if, if I'm starving and I haven't had nothing to eat because there's no jobs, okay, and I'm starving, I need to pay my, I need to feed my family that day. And somebody comes up to me and they tell me, oh, here, here's a 20 pound, go vote for this guy over here. You know also that most Egyptians do not know how to write. So they don't know what will happen there. They go by what they're told uh, to Dominga. Mm -hmm. Dominga, can I ask you yeah. something? Yes. Uh, have you got any uh, understanding of how uh, how big Salafism is in uh, the West Bank and Gaza? West Bank or Salafism is uh, to uh, to want to have like uh, a Muslim caliphate? It's a uh, <coughs> It's a group of people that are, it's a movement that, is, that Hamas is sort of a part of, but are, uh, they have become uh, like in clash with the Salafists right now, because uh, the Salafists uh, don't like that Hamas have jailed some of their members and stuff. But do you know how big Salafism is in West Bank and Gaza, from what you have seen? No, I don't. All I know is what I've seen in, in Egypt. I don't know about them being in, the, in, the, in Gaza. All I know and how okay. I learned about them in the Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I, I talked to uh, one one guy from Gaza actually just the other day and he he wanted to have a caliphate. What is that? Can you explain it to me? Uh, I don't understand. Uh, a Muslim totally a Muslim caliphate. What is caliphate? It's like uh, one they want to unite with uh, Egypt and other Muslim countries and have like a big Muslim caliphate. Over oh, top. Oh, oh. I have no idea. I know that. Okay. Uh, I know that Morsi. All I know is that Mor uh, Morsi helped with the Gaza Strip from there, and from that he's kind of, from what I hear it, from my sources in Egypt, that he's kind of went away from what it seems. And I don't think he even made. No. A, can you say again? I I don't even think he made a comment on the last strikes that Israel made onto the Gaza Strip. Not that I've heard of, but it's been really okay. Of course you do. Can you link me to that, please? Can you, can you link me to that, please? Because I haven't seen it yet. No, he, he visits in Gaza, in the middle of the operation. No, I didn't say visit. I, I said Morsi hasn't said anything publicly about his last two strikes on to Gaza. Just that happened a couple of days ago. He's good for he's good for planning where's let me let me put it to you this way. Morsi is good for playing where is Waldo when something needs to be done. No? He does it he waits he's kinda like Mubarak. He waits a long time before he wants to say anything about you know 
serious is going on and addresses it. He's bad about that. Mm -hmm. Really bad. Mm -hmm. which, which strike are you talking about in Gaza, two days ago? This last strike that Israel hit on Gaza? But it's, the airstrike? The one, the one breaking ago? the ceasefire? A few days, days ago. A few days, days ago. ago. Few. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Jimmy, did you hear about the Israeli strike on Gaza a few days ago? Uh, I don't know if you mean the the, the rockets that came from, uh, the rockets from, that came from Israel. Israel. There been some attacks back. Yeah, and there had been, been from, some attacks against from, the Estert, from, Estert, uh, from Estert. The ones I'm talking about is Morsi has not said anything public on the behalf okay. or about the strikes from Israel into Gaza. Okay. But I don't understand. Uh, Morsi has not said anything I don't know how to say it. Are you say Jimmy? Uh, broken. Broken, yeah. This is why I was broken by, first by Hamas. He shot after, after, after the ceasefire. He shot uh, rockets inside Israel. I think uh, for now something like 8 rockets or in, in, in Pesach holiday. Something like uh, 8 to 10 rockets from Gaza. And I, I and okay. didn't respond. I never heard about the responding for this thing. It should be. Don't say Israel. The one that broke this. I, I am going to say Israel. I'll even go as far as saying this is that Israel broke that ceasefire a long time ago. Wait for this, these last rockets from Israel into Gaza happened a hundred times. I can link you to all the. I don't know who started. So. Well, you don't. The... Ceasefire doesn't just mean airstrikes. Okay, you mean, you mean the eight years from, uh, from when we uh, uh, returned Gaza, uh, eight years of rockets from Gaza and not uh, doing anything? This uh, ceasefire we broke? This is how we broke the ceasefire or the past led? Talking about. Uh, I'm talking about the ceasefire that was agreed to after Pillar, Operation Pillar Cloud. That's the one I'm talking about, and I'm talking about all the ceasefire violations on to Israel's part to break those important. That's what I'm saying. So, and so the, documenta the documented violations of breaking the ceasefire before the last rockets from Israel into Gaza. So you are being very incorrect, because you will see the first one to shoot, the first shot was Hamas. Shoot rockets inside Israel, and in the Pesach vacation holiday in Israel, they shoot two rockets. One of them hit in a, a kindergarten uh, in, in Sderot. It was very lucky that uh, it was a vacation. There are no children over there, so be correct. If you give me, if you, I am being correct, and I'm about to back up my statement because I'm about to link you to the documented violations from Israel into Gaza so that you can see for yourself, okay? okay. I'm not going to debate with you about it. I'm going to tell you what's been documented from Gaza as part of the uh, violations of the ceasefire that was uh, supposed to be from, to end the operation, of, uh, the last operation mm -hmm. that Israel made on Gaza. Okay, just one second, let me find that. Uh, okay, it's documented by who? Do, do you live uh, close? Do you live like uh, close by any Palestinians or Arabs there in Israel? Or I mean, how how do they live? The Arabs in Israel are they are they living in, like in separate uh, 
towns or are they living just uh, next door to to Jews? Um, we have uh, we have some cities, villages that uh, are only populated by uh, by our Muslim people. Uh, but it's, oh, okay. it's uh, being by it's being by choice. Nobody makes them live uh, live uh, only in this area. A lot of them in Tel Aviv. Okay. In all kind, in all city you can see. Uh, see uh, you can everybody can live in Brooklyn, wherever yes. wherever one they want. Uh, how is uh, Haifa? Do you have a more Arabs there? Or? Haifa, Haifa is a very mixed city. It's a okay. Arab cool. See a live image on on the main door. No, only frozen. Do you see a frozen picture? Yeah. Ah, okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to to look for the. I don't know when when was the first uh, rocket fire in Israel after a bit of defense operation. I just wanna look for it. Sure. Uh, I have heard from from one guy who is a settler that uh, that uh, they shot first from Palestine, but I don't know. And it was after uh, that guy died in jail in the hunger strike, but I don't know. Uh, I have no way of of telling who who shot and who's wrong. Because he said that uh, there was a prisoner, that, and then the the guys in Gaza they shot the rockets to and that the kindergarten that you told about, and then uh, Israel sent uh, missiles to to Gaza, and then was responded and stuff. But I don't know if that's correct. It's impossible to judge from the outside. Yeah, no.